right, so we're down here, another level. This is called the um, observation deck. And you can see the falls in the back. This is called the Car Cataract Pool. And we are actually underneath the waterfalls. We're right under the waterfall. And you can see the water here. Woo! Hey, good morning people. Welcome to Tech World Vlogs on Tesla. I'm here in Niagara Falls, uh, spending a night here in the beautiful exotic Niagara Falls in Toronto, Canada. And today we have a couple adventures that I'm gonna take you along. Right now it's really early. We're gonna go get a breakfast and then we'll be heading down to some adventures in the city of Niagara. So follow along, make sure you like, subscribe, and join us on this adventure. Hey, what's happening people so we're continue our journey here in Niagara we have a lots of fun activity planned we're gonna hit the floral botanical garden uh, tickets eight dollars then we're gonna do journey behind the fall and then we're gonna tie it all up with a flywheel or sky wheel um, trip so looking forward to that pretty excited for all the fun stuff we're gonna do here in our Niagara Falls trip all right so we're heading over to the floral showroom this is like a garden center we're gonna see all different species of flowers and all different plants in the center here never seen this before but just check out the scenery here lots of greenery lots of exotic plants and birds ambience is awesome so I'll bring you along on this tour make sure you like subscribe and let me know if you've been here before All right, let me just walk walk you around the floral show house. You'll find some exotic um, plants here, but this is the entrance to the floral show house. Like I said, ticket is about eight dollars, and here we have a water fountain. It's called the Spirit of Park Hall, May 1978. Right now, the water fountain is not working, but this would look amazing at night. And then you see all these really beautiful trees. That's the greenhouse with all the awesome plants and you'll see some tiny house with bird um, bird houses that are like tiny houses but these are just all really beautiful garden the landscaping here is truly fantastic um, not a place that you actually associate with coming to Niagara because you come to Niagara you want to see the awesome falls and by no means the falls is not awesome it's breathtaking but check out all these local attractions, pretty nice, uh, especially this floral showroom. Um, they do an amazing job at maintaining the landscape, so let's check that out. I do love the, like, the antique stones here, you have the trees going up, or plants going up, and then some new plants, it's going to be blossoming soon. This is the other side of the floral showroom, some more awesome landscaping work uh, that is hard to maintain and then here we have like a little water fountain where you can drop coins and make wishes see that everywhere do love the water statues that is like a little kid with a fish and then there's a boy with a plane with a bird and then there's someone that's on a turtle which is pretty cool 
yeah I'm, I'm i'm definitely really liking this here it's a very peaceful experience so if you're trying to get away from the hustle and puzzle of niagara this is highly recommended it's only eight dollars a ticket and it's just amazing to see nature at its best um so let's check it out i know we keep saying that but every time we keep walking i keep finding more and more stuff to show you guys so yeah let's let's get into it and see what's so awesome about the Niagara Floral Show House. This is just a little teaser of what we're gonna experience. We just there's also facilities here if you need to use it. Um, and then there's a gift shop over here if you want to buy some gifts I'm gonna try to be quiet so I don't disturb anyone else but this is more of a peaceful serenity and there's a here there's turtles inside this little pond and fishes Alright, so we're in, there's two parts to this uh, floral show book home. You have the indoor and the outdoor. And in the indoor, there's two sections. There's this section here which has more uh, tropical, I guess, plants. I'm not a plant person, so I don't know the name of these plants. And then there's a second section in the back there which has like more exotic plants. You can see the mushroom plants and it's all like different manipulated plants. So yeah, we're gonna walk around. If you're a flower person, you're gonna like this video. Uh, if you're into nature, you're gonna love this video here. But there's different species, different types of flowers. I'll breeze through it and show you. And then we'll do the outdoor tour, which has more of the wildlife and wild plants outdoor. Right, so we're over on the other side which has that mushroom plant that I showed you earlier this these plants are more familiar to me I've seen these before in Guyana um, but these are more like trees uh, less flowers 
but oh it's well maintained these are low to the ground so they're planted directly into the soil and not potted the previous section was potted but you can see there's just so many to choose from half of these plants I'm not sure about but they're yeah, spectacular just spectacular now we go we had a bird house and now we have this smaller little house and by little I mean you can probably live inside here um, and then it, look at the level of detail that's the foundation that's the door you have chimneys roof and this is like a more of a church layout that they're going for there's quite a few smaller houses here there's another one over here big privacy screen and there's a platform there and that's the actual like house that's built pretty cool you gotta say you gotta love this type of museum in the park all right folks so this is what I was telling you earlier these are the bird house but you gotta check out these houses they look like actual human house uh, very small but the level of detail on these houses are fantastic you have the little red house uh, the blue house the white house and the green house so all three colors here it's elevated um, and it's really a part to kind of depicts like a bird house I'm not sure birds actually go there but I really like the detail on it and how artistic it is for their um, floral garden and there's the outside or outdoor part of the floral garden so a lot of these plants are like in the soil here using whatever soil vegetation there is to grow um, that section there has some more uh, flowers and plants that's wrapping around the uh, greenhouse and here you'll find plants that are now adapting to this soil and look we have a hibiscus very hard to find an outdoor hibiscus in this part of the world and it's a special type of hibiscus because look at the stem here it's like knotted and I had a nice beautiful red hibiscus flower one thing you gotta love about this uh, garden is the birds you have lots of noise here of the birds which is making it very peaceful So there you have it I am on the ferris wheel or the sky wheel um, this is our second activity at Niagara Falls and it's almost sunset so we're gonna get a good Welcome view to the of the sky, sky. and there's also audio here remain seated and do not leave rudely the roundel doors for your convenience we've provided four illuminated control buttons in the ceiling the red button will alert the operator to check the gondola to see if there's a problem the white button is for interior lights, and the blue button will turn audio on and off. You excited for your forest flywheel? Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. I think I'm gonna get a better view on this side here. So, you 
just already operated here it's gonna be an eight minutes ride on the Niagara sky wheel and uh, we're gonna get a 360 view of the Niagara Falls the marine land um, as well as all the little amenities here at Niagara Falls so please make sure you check this out when you're in Niagara it's always been on my bucket list but I never really tried it out there's a Niagara sky wheel enjoy the trip and it's the end of our second activity here in Niagara Falls guys welcome to the two of our third activity in Niagara we're going to do the journey behind the Falls it's about an hour long um, journey and we have to be there by 8 o'clock so we're about two minutes late it's early in the morning so there's not a lot of people here at the Table Rock walkway so join us along this trip journey behind the Falls Over here we're on one of the different platforms. Here you can actually hear and see the power that falls. It falls right there. This is the horseshoe. You can actually see behind the falls. Um, not sure if you can go there, but yeah, you can see behind the falls, and that's the horseshoe right there. created the tunnels behind the falls and these rocks are emitting residue which is water and then you can see the moss and the algae that's growing in these tunnels the blue light in here is very interesting
Alright, so we're down here, another level. This is called the um, observation deck. And you can see the falls in the background. We're getting drenched. Recycling your ponchos. All right, folks. So there you have it. That was a journey behind the falls. I've got some little souvenir rocks that I took from the tunnel. Um, this was a wonderful trip. 